Prepare yourself for the harrowing journey as we travel through the top 10 terrifying tarantulas. Welcome to the Tarantula Collective Halloween Special. My name is Richard, and if you enjoy these top 10 lists or all things tarantula related, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell and selecting all notifications so you're alerted every time I upload new content. For Halloween this year, we're gonna count down the top 10 terrifying tarantulas in the hobby. Now, I am in no way saying that these tarantulas are deadly or really even scary. These are just the top 10 species that really remind me of Halloween. So before you trolls lose your mind and go all over the internet saying I'm single-handedly trying to take down the hobby by calling tarantulas terrifying. This is just for fun, it's Halloween. So get off your soapbox and join us. Join us. So the number 10 terrifying species is a tarantula that's infamous in the hobby for its lightning reflexes and its ability to move so fast it seems like it's teleporting across its enclosure. They have a haunting deep black coloration with a bright orange tiger stripe pattern on their abdomen. Not to mention it's rumored to have some of the most potent venom of any New World species. Of course, I'm talking about the Salmopius erminia or the Venezuelan sun tiger tarantula. The number nine species haunts the jungles of Bogota, and little is known about the actual population of them in the wild, as it's too dangerous for researchers to go in there and study their population. They're quick, feisty, and have a bright starburst pattern on their carapace, and wild curly hair on their abdomen that makes them look a little crazy. They're even known to keep a pet frog in their burrows. So number nine is a Zenethesis amonis, or the Colombian lesser black tarantula. Now the number eight tarantula is haunting in its own right. It spends the majority of its time buried deep in the earth, only coming out at night to stalk its prey. What's more is that it has this eerie curved horn growing out of the top of its carapace, not unlike the demons that haunt your dreams. So number eight is the Certigaius darlingi, or the rear horn baboon.
Now this next species is a goliath of the South American jungles, and is said to be one of the largest species of tarantulas on the planet. What it lacks in potent venom, it more than makes up in these harpoon-like hairs that it kicks off its abdomen, lodging deep into your skin, causing a seriously uncomfortable reaction. Even temporarily blinding any predator trying to make this spider its next meal. So number seven is the Theraphosa sturmi, or the Burgundy Goliath bird eater. Now this next spider comes from the southwest deserts of Mexico, where it's been creeping out locals for centuries. Known to be calm, docile, and having no medically significant venom, it has nonetheless earned itself a terrifying name as it's commonly referred to as the bloodleg tarantula. So number six is the Afonapelma bicoloratum, or the Mexican bloodleg tarantula. You can't walk into a haunted house or Halloween store without seeing this next tarantula prominently displayed. Its likeness is commonly displayed in Halloween decorations to try and frighten those scared of spiders. Ironically enough, it's one of the most gentle and friendly species of tarantula known to exist. So number five is the Gremistola pulchra, or the Brazilian black tarantula. Infamous in the hobby for being psychotic, this next species can give you a good jump scare any time of the year. It is fast, it can be defensive if it feels threatened or provoked, and its bite can pack a serious punch. All this leaving a lot of souls new to the hobby scared to add this next species to their collection. It will cover its entire enclosure with intricate web tunnels and dart out of an opening to attack their prey. So number four is the Petronoculus muranus, or the orange baboon tarantula. Angela.
prefers hiding in the desert scrublands of Mexico, this next species sounds like it comes from the pits of hell, as it is commonly referred to as the fire leg. Though mostly docile and harmless, this species appears to celebrate Halloween all year long with its bright orange and deep black coloration. So number three is the Brachypelma baimi, or the Mexican fire leg tarantula. Frankenstein of sorts, this next species appears to be two different tarantulas stitched together and brought back to life. Even worse, its common name is tribute to a deadly evil Sith Lord in Star Wars. Lurking in the trees of the forest of Veracruz, its precise location is a mystery, supposedly to protect them from humans that would illegally capture them and sell them on the black market. So number two is a Salmopius Victori or the Darth Maul Tarantula. queen of Halloween tarantulas, this species is nearly synonymous with this time of year. What they lack in size, they more than make up in speed and boldness. They decorate their enclosures with webbing that would put most haunted houses to shame, and wear their black and orange all year round. The markings on their back even resemble a patch of pumpkins, hence their common name. So the number one terrifying tarantula is the Hapalopus species Columbia, or the pumpkin patch tarantula. you enjoyed this list of terrifying tarantulas, and if there is a species that reminds you of Halloween that didn't make this list, be sure to tell me about it down below in the comments. And if you want to pick up a skull spider t-shirt like mine, just head over to my website, thetarantulacollective.com. There you'll find all types of Tarantula Collective merchandise and care sheets and resources for most of the species that made this list. If you enjoyed this video and want to see last year's Halloween special, just check out this list right here. And if you want to see all of my past top 10 lists, just check out this playlist right there. As always, I appreciate you watching. Thanks for buying Tarantula Collective merchandise. Subscribe if you want to see more. Happy Halloween, and I will see you next Tuesday. <laughs>